Well, this week, the 49th annual Boston Sci-Fi Film Festival kicks off at the Somerville Theater in Davis Square. Joining us now, filmmaker Eric Rudnick. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate all, you. All the way here from L.A. We're honored to have you. You've got a film that's debuting tomorrow at this festival. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, my film is called Hold You So Tight, and it stars Charisma Carpenter from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm. And it is a... I call it a science fiction folktale. There's a lot of other tones and themes running through it other than sci-fi, but luckily the Boston Sci-Fi Festival thought it was sci-fi enough for them to put it in their, uh, in their lineup. What's it like to have a film in a film festival? Are you nervous? Is, I mean, obviously it's sort of a different feel. Uh, what's it like for you? It's exciting because you just want to get it out to an audience, and this festival is, has a lot of prestige behind it. It's their 49th year, mm. so for them, who look at sci-fi every year and say yes, no, yes, no, and it's hard to pick films because not everybody can make it, and it's just, it's an honor, and it's kind of a, uh, you know, you did the right thing by making this and getting it out there. Did you get a little nervous the night before? You know, because it's tomorrow night it's going to debut. It is tomorrow night. I'm excited because okay. I'm going to sit in an audience of people who I've never met before, and how they react is how an audience reacts, so I'm excited here. How they, you know, what if they laugh, are there gasps, all those fun things that you're going to hear, hopefully, when you're in the back of the theater watching and people. your film tackles artificial intelligence. Tell us a little bit about this. So I met a robot on the set of a show that I was producing. I produced reality TV for a long time, and I was working on a show, and there was a robot that was brought on, and I said, that robot's a movie star. And... Does nobody else see this? No, this robot is amazing. <laughs> so uh, I kept in touch with the gentleman who made the robot, and six years later we made this short. I wrote a feature, and I had all these big plans, but I was like, you might have to do it yourself, and so that's what we did. That's so cool. How did you get into this? How did you get into filmmaking? You were in reality, reality TV. Sort of take us through your, how, how you did this. So I started out in New York as an actor, and then I became a playwright, and then the writing was going good, and then I sold uh, a TV show and optioned another one, but making things... I made a web series, I've produced my own plays, making things is, to me is the best. Mm. And so if you can make something and get other people to hop on board who are talented and have their own ideas, then you have a team of people who are creatively pushing their vision over the finish and it's line. it's your thing. It's, it's you're not following someone else's vision, it's your thing. Right, but it takes exactly, just like you have a crew here, it takes my crew and cast yeah. to believe long enough so that we can get it done. Yeah, especially for the crew to deal with me. Yeah, I that, it's, a, know, it's a huge, huge hurdle for it's most a of us, but big we get paid a lot of money. A chicken it. parm calzone <laughs> might, might help. Yeah. That's that, true, that hand out a help. few of those yeah. and make some friends. Uh, for anyone watching who might be interested in going to this festival and checking out your film tomorrow night, how do they do that? You can go on the website, which is bostonsci-fi.com. Uh, some films are, you can get tickets there, some films you can get tickets for in person, there's also a virtual element, and um, you're gonna watch a block of films, and our film is the last film in that block. So every time you go to watch shorts, it's seven or eight of them, but you're done in two hours, and you've seen all these different films. So it's a really efficient way to get a lot of sci-fi so cool. into your bloodstream. And real quick before we go, any advice for people who wanna be like you? I mean, you've done it all. What, what's your advice for someone who can, to get into the business of making films? Get started. There's no time to do it or not do it. Everything is against you all the time but your belief in yourself is all you have and everybody who you admire who's ever done this, that's all they had to start. So yeah. just go out, do it. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's not about perfect. It's about getting your ideas and your that vision out. For anything, any, any job. That's good yeah. advice. That's good advice. Like Eric that. Rednick, good luck. Thank, Thank you so much. So Thanks much. for having me.